Sophisticated. Magical. Intense. Motivated. Calculated. Genius. Evolutionary. Great coach. A perfect job. Excellence. Perfectionist. Un obsessi. Passionate. Visionary. Pep. Pep is love. It's this way of coaching. Guardiola sets the tone now. And he will do that in England too. Here we go then. Only one place to start this hour. Manchester City have got their man. Pep Guardiola will replace Manuel Pellegrini as manager next season in arguably the biggest managerial coup in the history of the Premier League. One of the best managers in the world, no doubt about this. He will bring tactical innovation, fresh ideas. It's interesting to have all the best players and all the best managers in the Premier League. Here is another test for my career. That's why I'm here. To prove myself that I am able to convince these players to play the way we want at the end, we will see. Crec que el Pep, doncs, amb la seva figura, amb el que ha sigut en el futbol modern, pot ser, pot fer un canvi generacional en la Jo crec que és una de les persones que pot canviar una mica la idea del futbol anglès. His philosophy will work. Cuz that's how he is. It will not be easy. It's so, so complicated. The contenders are so, so tough. There are many physicalities. You have a lot of injuries. You are not just playing Premier League. You are playing for competitions. We will fight until the end. We are close. We are so close. But the only way I know is knowing when you are resting, they are preparing better to beat us, so we have to prepare more. And training more and play better is the only way I know to keep that level. You train not for 11 players, you train for all the squad. The idea is fundamental. The idea that we're going to do, it's so important. You have to give passes and passes, an extra pass and extra pass. Extra pass help you always to be together. And we run to regain the ball, not run to run, so no pressing to pressing. Always we believe we regain the ball high, we are close to a score goal. Without the ball, everybody runs. With the ball, we try to play. We let them run to try in the right moment to, to attack. take the decision in the right moment. That is the most difficult thing in football. What I want is don't lose the ball. Play simple. Do the simple things, the simple. The rest is because you are good. And I think that when you've got a manager like Pep, who is so driven and so good, obviously he's in so intense um, in his training sessions and the players are obviously responding to it, it's an environment that you 
you can't wait to be involved in because you know you're getting better. You're starting to blast teams out of the way, like, you, like you've seen them do. And, you know, it's, it's just something that, for that environment, is obviously the best place to be right now. About the result. He is a genius. A genius. And the way that Manchester City are playing, does it surprise me they've got better? No, not at all. Because what he's doing is working with a young squad that can only improve. Mm. What's scary for me... Is that right-hand column? <laughs> yeah, that's scary, scary. enough. Walker's a better player than he was at Tottenham. Otamendi's a better player than before Guardiola came in, right? Uh, Delph got, uh, he got a chin out of Delph at left back. Yeah. Fernandinho's got better, De Bruyne's got better, Silva's got better if, if, he, if he could have got better because he's been so consistent. Sterling's got better. Bit of a riff with, uh, with Aguero it seems and that's still ongoing. But just the way they've played. You don't just buy players and say, all right, we'll pay 50 million for a fullback. I'll put them out there, and it's going to happen. It just is not as simple. History makers, Premier League team of the century, indisputably, because they've reached the century point mark. We achieved something unique, no, because 100 points is a lot of points. We realise that this is precious and we want to hold on to it. I've never been able to retain a title. And I want to see if, if this team's got it to, uh, to carry on and, and, and be even more successful. I don't really need any deep sleep. I just want to feel weak when I feel weak. Let me be me, let me speak up, let me be free, let me reach peak. When you're champions, you are everyone's cup final. Man City have raised the bar. They're not making mistakes. Now they want to be winning quadruples, and I think that's where they're going. Standing on the shoulders of giants, I am defiant, I am bold, I'm alive, I'm unbreakable, I'm on fire. He's so relentless and ruthless in everything that he does. He would not allow any of those players to be in a comfort zone. His thing straight away, most probably when they won last year, was okay, we need to go and we need to do it again because that's the sign. When we talk about this city side, and last year everyone talking about whether they are one of the greatest teams, if they go on and win it again this year in a style that they're already showing, that's when they're in that category, to be able to keep hold of that trophy in the manner that they're doing as well. That's the sign of a great team.
the champions. I'm on fire. The blue is on the rise. The champions have beaten the leaders. The end of Liverpool's invincibility in the Premier League this season. Laporte! Manchester City back to the summit. Oh, it's absolutely superb. They make it look so simple. It's so hard in to stop them. them. Inevitably, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go in fully. Flame on, ignite my inner power, in a piece, in a beast, I will let all devour me. Wonderful finish, the champions move through the gears. From every atom and every piece of anatomy in my body, I'm rapidly becoming superhuman. An 11th Premier League victory in a row, on it goes, this extraordinary title race. Relentless Manchester City march on, back at the top of the table, still with their destiny in their own hands. City on the final day. First place in the Premier League does go to Manchester City. Yeah.